So I've prepared um, something I guess I'll round this out with. Normally I like to improvise, but I did prepare a speech for this one. Jason Chai, my <laughs> older brother. <laughs> Everyone we've ever met uh, has asked us the same question, which one of us is older? And I always ask them to guess, and without exception, they say that I must be the older one by two or three years. Independent of Jason, whenever people ask me how old I am, myself, and I ask them to guess, they say probably 18 years old. <laughs> so a quick calculation <laughs> would reveal that to a casual observer, Jason appears to be 15 years old. <laughs> I can only imagine what drunk customers at the Hilton downtown think <laughs> when they demand to speak to a manager about the toilet they just arrived in the morning, and they find themselves face to face with a 15 year old. <laughs> For that matter, I wonder what kind of looks Christine gets walking around hand in hand with him. <laughs> Someone commented earlier that Jason shaved like once a month, I think. <laughs> Jason. How many Lego sets did we build when we were both kids? In the game room? Before we traded both our Hanukkahs and our birthdays to Dad for a pool table. <laughs> <laughs> when we had those long red couches. How much of Stepha's collection, chicken and noodle soup, did we eat at Papa Joe and Stepha's house? And Papa Joe would ask us in his broken Yiddish English, if we wanted some crack. <laughs> he meant cracker. <laughs> but he didn't realize his mistake. And we would crack up. <laughs> How many doodle bugs did we find balled up underneath Mama and Papa's old sofas in their living room? <laughs> and behind the sail curtains around the house late at night. Those are roly polies. <laughs> what part of the country you're from? Could be a few years to figure that one out. And at their house, we would sleep in those two twin beds that I'm sure Michael and Jeff recall. Underneath the big tiger painting. And I'd be scared pretty shitless because of that tiger. <laughs> You would talk to me, and I'd feel like it was okay to go to sleep <laughs> under those heavy, velvety comforters. <laughs> or when we used to go to Golden Acres, and I'd play the piano, as is pretty normal for the old folks there, <laughs> and then you'd bust out your euphonium, <laughs> which is a baby tuba. <laughs> and start blaring out notes. <laughs> it's definitely not a solo instrument. <laughs> but, but you didn't care. Because you wanted it to perform. You wanted to perform for Papa John Stefan and everybody else. I never told you or communicated it, but I admired even that small gesture in you. It was silly, really, to play a tuba in an old folks' <laughs> And kind of embarrassing or out of place. But you ignored that. And you 
did what was more important. Whether any of us has known you from childhood or throughout life, when you struggled some in school or weren't the greatest in sports, or in more recent years as you decided to stop going down the advertising path of many years and commit to the hospitality industry, which none of us ever would have expected, and all of us had doubts about it. You have continued to demonstrate to me, and I hope to all of us, your strength of resolve. You were always an introvert, but you have soared beyond expectation in the hotel business. It's your commitment. And it's deep in your character to not give up. Against whatever was stacked against you, against whatever shit I gave you, or doubts we made you feel, against whatever odds, you persevered. into a strong, mature, and intelligent man. Even if you do look 15. <laughs> I'm proud that you're my brother. I think that we can all learn from your quiet strength. You just keep going. And look at you now. I would never, in my wildest imagination, have believed that this day would arrive. You have a wonderful girl by your side whom you love. You have immense success in your career after multiple promotions and managing the largest hotel in Austin. You're a good person. You're loyal. You're strong. And in your house two days ago, I saw your euphonium. <laughs> your baby Zuba. You never give up. <laughs> I'm so happy that I can proclaim without a doubt that you are a success. fortunate, and I think we're all fortunate, to have watched you grow and to be your friends and family. And I think Christine is the luckiest of all, as are you with her. Congratulations to both of you. I'm happy, I'm really happy that you found each other. I know I can speak for so many of us and all of us here when I say that we both wish you the best. I love you. Let's raise our glasses one time for Christine and Jason.
many more years of success and commitment for both of you. Very good.